I could talk coaching philosophy with you all day long, and so Do many it. different people, you know, <laughs> would um, maybe think you're not just based on again. You have, like to have fun. You got a great sense of humor. That you're not cold blooded when you when you when you're going after something you want. Uh, and then I was watching the uh, Black Friday game, and Al Michaels told a story about how you met your wife. So you know, <laughs> I think that's example A, right? That, uh, <laughs> You know, don't get in your way. Is that? Did I learn that, Mike, was, from that story? Uh, uh, what you learn is seize each and every day. Yes. And there's opportunities aplenty if you open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. That's is that the moral? And of that your story? rhythmic. <laughs> <laughs> the key, key part. Was that the story? You the eurythmics? Because I I don't know if Al got into that part about it. Oh no uh, no. So I felt bad because. Okay. Uh, the story was true. Okay. However, it was emphasized. Uh, it was. He just had a short time to talk about it. But, of course, yeah. But you can't um, tell that story in between snaps. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and it's that's tough. kind of what happened. So, right. so what? It seemed what, like I was threatening somebody's job. I was in jest. <laughs> I said that to Steve Baylark. Okay. In jest because he knew that I was a running back coach, and so I didn't have the power of hiring and firing anyway. <laughs> but it was more to. Right emphasize the urgency with which to take action yes like like hey uh, no dude this is i've identified something that's more important to me than you yes that's all that that's, that's how <laughs> you then, communicated that and then and then um you know <laughs> right i think you went short on my dance floor prowess uh, <laughs> and that was really the moral of the story that no was, but it was, it was true yeah. uh, met met her at at uh at that nightclub in Sacramento mm -hmm. um, and started a long distance relationship um, that like six months later, she moved out to um, uh, right, right outside of Dulles airport in Virginia right, uh, to cohabitate with me while I was coaching for the Washington football team at the time. Mm -hmm. So it's a real story. Um, I have a lot of random stories <laughs> in life. No, instead, uh, but at least that that one. Hey, look, and Steve can't be upset because you know no. you're married. You know, you have, oh, and, he, and he. I mean, you know, like I don't know. You'd have to get him on the phone. I don't think his his mindset was on marriage at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, I was uh, you know, okay. I was the wise one thinking about the big picture. Yeah, the long term. You're, yeah, so you're yeah. marathoning. Well, you're not sprinting. Nightclub. You're marathoning. Yeah. You're not sprinting. I get it. I understand. And you know, now you have got you got a you got a kid and so now you're the silver medalist and uh, and best dad ever right now. Oh. Coach. You know what I mean? Like I hate to tell My you. My daughter would vote differently. She she is actually she texted me and said that she disagrees with that. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm the best dad. Okay. Understood. You know what? It's all subjective. Cool. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.